In this lesson, we are going to explore a really interesting topic, the string constant pool in Java. Now don't worry, the name sounds complicated, but I'll walk you through it step by step using a simple code example and three diagrams to help us understand how it works in memory. Let's start with the basics. In Java, whenever we create a string using double quotes, like Java, it gets stored in a special memory area called the string constant pool. This pool is part of the heap memory and it's designed to save space by avoiding duplicate strings. So if you create the same string literal again, like another Java, Java will not create a new object. Instead, it will simply reuse the existing one from the pool. Let's understand the string constant pool step by step with diagrams. Here we have a single line of code, string str1 equals double quotes Java followed by a semicolon. Java stores this Java string inside the constant pool. That's the red box you see inside the larger heap memory block. The variable str1 points directly to that string inside the pool. So far we have one variable, one string object and everything looks clean. Now let's move to the second step. We add one more line. String str2 equals double quotes Java followed by a semicolon. Now the JVM first checks that the literal Java in the string constant pool. If the literal is already present in the pool, its reference is stored in the variable. Since Java already exists in the pool, Java doesn't create a new object. Instead, str2 points to the same string as str1. So now both str1 and str2 are pointing to the same object in memory. That's why when we compare them using double equals, we'll get true. Because they both refer to the same location, here's where things get interesting. Now we write string str3 equals new string and pass java inside it. This time even though the content is the same, java creates a completely new object in the heap outside of the string pool. That means str3 and str1 are two different objects in memory. Alright, now that the diagrams are clear, let's go to IntelliJ and type this out step by step. So here is the code that demonstrates the concept. We have string pool example class with a main method. Within a main method, first we declare a string variable named str1 and assign it the value java. Then we declare another string str2 and assign it the same value java. In java, when we create strings using double quotes like java, those strings are stored in a special part of memory called the string constant pool. This pool helps Java save memory by reusing string objects. Since both str1 and str2 use the same literal, Java creates just one string object in the pool. And both variables point to the same memory location. That's why when we compare str1 equals equals str2, we are checking if they point to the same object. And the answer is true. Next we create a string object Java with a reference variable str3 using the new keyword. Here we are using the new keyword and that makes a big difference even though the content is still java using new tells java to create a new object in the heap separate from the one in the pool. So now str1 and str3 have the same characters but they are two different objects in memory. Let's verify that by comparing str1 equals equals str3. This will print false because the references are different. But now watch this. We compare their contents using dot equals str1 dot equals str3. The equals method checks if the actual text is the same and in this case it is. So this line will return true. Let's run the program and see the full output. str1 equals equals str2 true. str1 equals equals str3 false. str1 dot equals str3 true. So what did we learn from this? When you create strings using double quotes, Java checks the string constant pool first. If the same value already exists, it reuses it, saving memory. If you use the new keyword, Java creates a new object. Even if the content already exists in the pool, the equals equals operator checks if the references are the same, not the content. The equals method checks if the content inside the strings is the same character by character. Let's wrap this up. The string constant pool is Java's built-in optimization for memory management. 
By reusing string literals, Java avoids unnecessary object creation. Understanding how this works gives you more control over memory and helps you avoid subtle bugs when comparing strings.